Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barel. Uh, today we are going to talk about a major problem that affects a lot of people. And as the videos in the past that I showed you guys, you guys said a lot of for a lot of you guys it worked. For some of you guys it didn't. So you started to speculate or to, to think uh, that certain things like the hardware or whatever was the issue, right? So you guys thought the hardware was the issue. A lot of you guys sent it back when I told you guys most likely it's not the hardware. Sometimes it is, but it was good. You got it back and the same problems occurred, okay? The geniuses in NVIDIA, this is the problem. The firmware that they release sometimes doesn't go well with the graphics cards that are out there. For example, most of the graphics cards, what happens, they release it to you super clocked or you know overclocked or what they call super clocked okay some of your uh power supplies could handle it some of you guys it can't but guess what it affects regardless of the power supply it affects everyone the game would get stuck okay and i was trying to duplicate this problem and it was really hard for me to do it on my computer but for my clients which not really clients but uh i work as a volunteer uh for the fire department where i work on their computers and I managed to get it duplicated on one of their computers that kept getting stuck. Not even in games, but like 20, 30 minutes, poof, it would get stuck uh, on Windows 10 or Windows 7, Windows 8. They had no idea what the hell was going on. Well, like I said, a lot of people are told to automatically go for the, you know, for the biggest firmware uh, up update uh, of NVIDIA and keep going like that. The truth of the matter is what you need to do is to try to go to a good... Uh, once you get a good firmware, try not to update unless your games call for it. Okay, most likely, uh, and even so, I mean, unless I would say your games get stuck, try and go and update to the latest firmware, okay, which is always what people say you should do as a troubleshoot. But the truth of the matter is, the geniuses in NVIDIA, what they did was they screwed with certain cards. It doesn't go well with certain cards that are overclocked or, as they call it, superclocked. So there's a loophole. And I'm going to show you guys that I figured out on my own a big loophole. And I saw forums were pouring in. So I started releasing that on forums and people said it worked for them. So I figured, let me do a video right now. Okay, really literally just back from work. And I said, I'm going to do a video for y'all. Okay, so first thing I did was is did this. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do. Okay, so I'm going to record the screen right here uh, so you guys can uh, see it. And we're going to go right into this. Okay, so... We're going right into this. Okay, so what we have here, people, is a, is a, is a problem that affects uh, a lot of people, I guess. So the first thing you need to do is to get yourself either um, Extreme, which is this one right here. It's called Extreme Gaming Engine. You can download that. Okay, and you can see when I started here, it's going to show you the card. I personally don't like using it because I have <clears throat> one from the manufacturer. Okay, so you go into here. And basically, you see all of the memory clocks and all of that, and you could control it, okay? I'm going to go into here because I'm not a big fan, but it's the same concept, okay? So we're going to go right into right here. Uh, we're going to get out of here. So I'm starting the screen right now. As you can see, I changed fast like Superman. Uh, so we're going to go right into it. So as I said, the geniuses in, uh, in uh, NVIDIA uh, and also in the card manufacturers... Uh, what they didn't know is that one doesn't go well with the other, right? So as I said, like it's not the drivers are not meant to work with these uh, overclock or superclock chips because when they come to you, they already come to you overclocked or superclocked, and it might be too large for its own good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right now into this. So this is what you're gonna need to download. Now I go through another thing, but here it is. You download Extreme Gaming Engine, okay? You can get it from anything, just Google it. And you start it right here, right? But I'm I'm gonna show you like another uh version of what I work with because I have the gigabyte one and I know this one is like all around the board. Everyone on the WinForce is com uh, the WinForce series is complaining, and it's especially in general, all the gigabyte uh, uh, cards. A lot of people are complaining because of uh, you know Nvidia stupidity. So as you see here, it has a thing called memory clock, right? Now I'm not going to do it through here, but you could do it the same exact way. So I'm going to show you right here. So it comes already overclocked. So I would say download this program right here. It's called OC Guru 2. It's by Gigabyte, specially made 
for the Gigabyte uh, series right here, okay? So as you can see, I have it on negative tw uh, 200, right? So see, when you overclock, look what happens, okay? I'm going to show you. So it takes a while. It goes to 1,253, right? You go on, uh, on overclock. Then you go to gaming. It goes to 1,228. And then eco... And it goes to 1,122. What I'm going to ask you to do is don't freaking check any of that crap. Erase this and hit negative 200. Okay? Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, oh, my God, he's taking 200 megahertz away from me. That's not the issue. The clock speed will stay, still stay around the same even though to, even a little bit over. It's just it's not uh, overclocked. These chips, came, I mean, these cards came to you overclocked. And because of that, you're having a lot of crashing because a lot of you guys went for the most modern uh, uh, firmware, right? Now, if you go with the older firmware, you'll see that it handles it much better but uh, and you'll have less crashes, right? But the thing is, if you have new games or whatever, they're going to require you to do an upgrade, some of them even forcing you to do it. And, of course, everybody says, says by rule of thumb, you should just automatically... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, j just go to the latest firmware. So if you did, don't bother going to the to the old firmware because you don't want that either, really. But if you want to play games without crashing, just reduce it for now. This is a loophole, okay? For now, something to go around it that'll still give you. I still play my games for uh, at 4K at 60 frames and up. Even sometimes it goes to 120 frames. Uh, but I'm just giving you an example with Doom with. Um, Wolfenstein with a bunch of freaking games, you know, the new Colossus, of course, not the original, so don't kill me over there, <laughs> but uh, all of these uh, top demanding games also, uh, even Crisis 3, uh, uh, I played on it, um, a bunch of things, and you can just play it regularly, just remove 200 megahertz, and you guys will see that your games will run and not crash, okay, now, I know a lot of you guys wrote and you said, well, uh, you know, uh, you know, well, I, I probably need to replace the hardware and didn't listen and went out there and uh, repl replaced the hardware only to get a, a refurbished one because that's what they do when you're on warranty or anything. They give you a refurbished one. And then afterwards, right after, uh, you find out you have the same problem. This is the issue. You subtract it by 200 megahertz. Another big issue, if you guys have crashes uh, still, which you won't, I don't believe you'll have any crashes, but let us say for some odd reason you still do, here's another rule of thumb, shut this off, go to this PC, right click on that, hit the properties button right here, go to advanced, okay, system, alright, so you're going to advanced system. You go right here to visual effects processor scheduling memory usage and virtual memory. Okay, you want to go to the virtual memory. Sometimes you'll get that pop up that tells you you don't have enough memory, and then you know, uh, your your uh, you know you you go on it and you have no idea. Sometimes you won't get that pop up. So just to be on the safe side, I personally don't need to do this, so I'm not going to do it on this one. But if I had um, an issue because I'm on on uh, on uh, my PC right now, my uh, second PC. So if I had this issue, I would simply go into, you know, into this and just do it. So you go to advance, and I did this actually for the for the fire department. One guy actually had, uh, when he was operating, I think it was Sony Vegas, I'm not sure. Uh, it kept popping up that he didn't have enough memory. So you go to advance, you go to change, right? Now, as you can see, everything here is, is uh, zeroed out. So you don't have any options to click. So you hit the automatic, right? You take that out, and now you go to custom size, right? Now, let us say you guys had... Um, do I even have calculator on this? I don't even know. Um, let us say that you guys had... Uh, let me just go to search here. Where's that thing? just trying to check it out so we're gonna yell cut for now um, I don't know why it's not letting me go into the oh here we go okay so you're going into the calculator right cuz I can't do math for to save my life and now what you do is you need to know if you have let's say a 16 gig card right so what you do is you do 16 times and 16 gigabyte card right so 16 times 1000 
24. That's a gigabyte, right? So that's one, one gigabyte. So you have to multiply it by 16 because you have a 16 gigabyte card. You hit that equal sign, right? So you're going to 16, all right? You put that in here, 384. And then you just copy and paste that thing in the maximum size as well. And there you go. Then you hit the set button. I'm not going to do it because I don't need to. And that's it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it just for the sake of this so you guys see what appears over here. So you hit the set button and you see it appears right there. Now I got 32 gigs on this bitch, so I don't really need to do that. So we're going to just erase that uh, set. What? Oh, wait. Oops. Let me just go on auto before I destroy it. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. The devices you have made requires you to restart the computer, yada, 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 whatever. Just restart. Do a restart. Boom. You should not have any more problems at all, guys. And that's really all I got to say about that. If you guys have any issues at all, anything, let me know as always. Like when you had some issues, a lot of you guys, the past videos helped. Some of you guys, a very small fraction of you, it didn't work. But you had other errors. And... Uh, you know, you were saying it doesn't work. Just remember, if it's another error, we're not talking about the same error when I was listing errors. In this case, this should work on pretty much everything. If you follow the addition uh, of the other video as well, uh, you will see that uh, I speak very lengthly about things that you can do from the power supply to all kinds of stuff to even going into, um, for example, into the search and going into uh, devices or whatever and, uh, you know, hitting that and you know, that's it. You, I mean, sorry, in services, and then you just, you know, unclick each one and go to MS Config. I have it all in my other video. But this, if, you're, if your games crash, or even your windows happen to crash when you're doing things that are uh, taking up a lot of, you know, power, like, you know, like a, it's taking out a lot of your juice. For example, rendering, uh, whether you render on Maya, 3D Max, uh, Sony Vegas, Adobe Photoshop, uh, was it Premiere, all these things, when you're doing high... Uh, work and you're you're seeing that your computer is getting stuck. Most likely, it has to do with virtual memory and it has to do with uh, the um, with the with the card. Now, it doesn't have to necessarily be uh, a gigabyte card. So, like even here, if I was to go to shut off of this and you download this, which works pretty much with almost everything. So you get this one, okay? You start this out, and and I showed you. So you're just basically taking that clock speed out. So here we go. I don't know why it takes a long time for me to load this thing, but it's weird because on my other computer it loads extremely fast. So you just deduct. You see here on the on the memory clock, 200, and you're good to go. But but like I said, what happens is these things come to you at a price. They come to you already overclocked and superclocked. Okay, you don't need that crap. Subtract 200 megahertz in the meantime till they the geniuses in NVIDIA work on it, and work on it, whatever they need to work on. And then if it works, it works. It doesn't, it doesn't. Your games will still run fine, believe me, because it's still doing it at regular clock speed, hopefully. Uh, and uh, that's it. Uh, minus 200. If you want to take risks, you could go minus 100, but really, that's the, uh, the eco. It still doesn't work. You'll find out some of you guys reported that it's still stuck. Deduct 200 megahertz. I haven't had one person who complained, not one who had it stuck. So trust me on this. It will work and everything will be great. And if it doesn't, as always, right down in the bottom right there, let me know so I can try to duplicate it. And whenever I do, as I promise, I will release another one. Okay, and that's just the way it's going to work. Uh, let me just uh, get rid of this one right here. So uh, this is another good uh, screen capturing software, which I love to use. Uh, action, I don't know, it works for me. But uh, anyways, that's what I'd like to, to just uh, put out there because I noticed a lot of people on the forums and I wrote to them what to do. And once it worked for them in the forums, I decided, you know what? A lot of people are asking, let me do this freaking video and give it out to the YouTube subscribers right here or to YouTube in general, uh, to the public. As always, guys, all my reviews are honest. You guys know I don't do Patreon services. I don't get paid to say things like tons of others do. I am just working out of my own. I buy my own stuff. I do my own thing. So I give you guys honest reviews. That's why I did it in the first place. I made this channel so I could help out a lot of people because I've been screwed by a lot of false channels. Uh, fake news, <laughs> as they say, right? Um, uh, and in the end, I end up uh, purchasing crap. So this is why I end up releasing this channel. The only way you guys can help me out is by spreading the word for this channel, showing some love to, for this channel, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button is very important. And 
hitting that bell button as many more new videos will come out with honest reviews and a ton of other stuff. So anyways, as you can see, my channel is about everything from modifying, uh, you know, Kylo Ren, constructing lightsabers, doing 3D prints and all kinds of things with the 3D printer to technology reviews to everything. I cover an array of things. All I ask, just please um, subscribe, hit the bell, hit that like and spread the word. Have a good one, y'all. God bless. Take care. Bye.